actually ang secret diyan, hindi mo kailangan mamili. Pwede ka mag-invest sa lahat, di ba? So, hello everyone and hello. Uh, welcome to another episode of our YouTube channel. Yes. Today, meron tayong uh, simple question lang, no? Mm-hmm. Kasi nabanggit natin na meron iba't ibang klaseng stock market na fund, no? Mm-hmm. Or equity fund. So, particularly, merong index fund na pinafollow lang yung performance ng index. Tapos, merong mga high dividend. Mm-hmm. Merong, may consumer fund. Uh, may alpha. So, ang, ang tanong, ang simple lang tanong niya, bakit daw siya mag invest sa isang index fund given na, syempre, yung mga ibang growth funds, mas malaki yung magiging performance niya. Mm-hmm. So, what are the, the advantages of investing in an index fund? Mm. Okay, first and foremost, an index fund is what we call a passive fund or All right. a, a passive tracker fund. Meaning, uh, okay, dalawa kasi yung fund. May active management saka may passive. Yung active, meaning... May tao na may tao nag-de-decide, na, nag-de-decide kung anong bibilhin. Anong bibilhin, kailan bibili, what stock to buy, when to buy, if to sell, when to sell. Ang oh. passive, kumbaga, no-brainer na may sinusundan lang siya. Na formula ba yan? Uh, or algorithm? Uh, na, like for example, a passive fund, for example, index fund. No, an index fund is a passive fund na, for example, pag nag invest siya dun sa laman ng Philippine Stock Exchange Index. Uh-oh. So lahat ng issues dun, lahat ng stocks dun, shares, nag invest siya dun. Alright. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. Anong laman ng index, dun na siya nag invest At for example, in the same weight. Of the index. Ah, uh, okay. Kasi for example, ang index natin, kunwari lang ha, for simplicity purposes, kunwari, 5% of the index is PLDT. Kunwari lang. So, yung index fund, 5% of the index fund, naka-invest sa, sa PLDT. PLDT. Uh-huh. It cannot go 6% uh-huh. or it cannot go 4%. Uh-huh. So, minimiro niya lang. Tapos, for example, Globe is 2%. So, ang allocation index fund kay Globe is 2% then. Nothing more. Nothing less. Yeah, so given that, bakit ka mag invest sa index fund over other types of actively managed uh, equity funds? Remember that kung may actively managed, then there's a possibility, actually, all actively managed funds want to outperform the index Uh-oh. or the stock market. Kailangan mas magaling sila sa index. Mas magaling. So, ibig sabihin, okay, if you want some outperformance versus the Uh, index, okay, you can go for actively managed funds. But again, sabi nga, pag, of course, meron ng human factor yan, yes. human decision, then it can be prone to error or sometimes wrong calls even. Uh-oh. So, there's May also mistakes. a possibility na it can underperform the index. And that has happened it has a lot, happened, of, times, a lot so. of times. In fact, there's a year na Walang for mutual funds, wala, there's this one year na walang actively managed funds ang nakabit sa index. The, in, the index was the best performing yes. uh, fund. Oh, no? oh. So, again, no, if you want, why would you invest in the index? If you want just to ride on the stock market index in general na kumbaga ayaw mong sobrang risky na super taas or na may possibility na, na super mabaka, gusto mo yung parang... You know, sinusundan mo lang so, yung na stock market. Kumbaga, go for the index. Kung ang investment merong low, moderate, high risk and yung stock market is uh, kasama siya sa high risk investment. Oh, Pero oh. meron din siyang subcategory na merong oh, oh. low risk na stock market, May merong mid, moderate, sa, oh, oh, high. So yung index fund, yun na yung pinaka low. Uh, uh, I think it's more of the moderate na stock. Kasi pe- moderate risk type of investment in oh, the stock market. Kasi kumbaga, price movement lang ng index. Eh. Remember, there are also funds na, di- na high dividend or nag i-invest sa dividend is, paying. Uh, of course, the dividend paying funds, mga big companies na yan. Uh, uh, Blue chips na yan. So, so more or less, of, they are the low risk oh, Kasi price spectrum. appreciation yan, hindi na masyadong magalaw. Uh, but they are more on the so medyo lo- low risk yan. type of equity yes, fund. Oh. Tapos ang moderate risk type of equity fund yung index. Oo, oh, pwedeng gano'n. Tapos yung mga growth fund, yun yung, yung mga, high risk oh, talaga. Kasi nag-invest yan sa mga mas malilit na company, oh, mas ma- malikot ang volatility, oh. magalaw. Of course, mas makakapag-outperform ka ng index but there's also the possibility na mag-underperform. May years na mag-underperform Grossly. Oh. Oh, so again, oh, if you want uh, na, you know, if you want the growth ride with the local stock market in general, 
okay na ayaw mo ng super risky or super conservative yung uh, may, pag sabi natin ng madali kang kabahan sa oh. index fund ka na lang muna oh. and yes. actually ang secret dyan hindi mo kailangan mamili <laughs> pwede ka mag-invest sa lahat di ba? You, oh. you allocate enough money so, for example you're, you're investing 15,000 pesos a month malaki-laki na yung 15,000 pesos a month di ba? Hmm. so why not Uh, put 5,000 in an index fund, 5,000 in a growth fund, tapos mm-hmm. yung 5,000 sabi natin sa balance fund lang. Para Pwede medyo rin. conservative. So, Or, you can make your own modified index. Pwede ah, ka na rin. 90% index, tapos 10% yung mga alpha or yung ah, mga ma- high, ma- ma- high, year, high, high growth funds. mga growth funds. Para kung bumaba man yung growth fund, at least just 10% of your portfolio ang affected. Ang affected. Ang The rest, 90% index. Nasa index. Hindi masyadong volatile. Ayun, tama. Pwedeng ganon. So, or kung aggressive ka, pwedeng baliktad. Ah, 90% yung ano. Oh, titip, pwede mo rin titiplayin. But, you can, ano, you can contact us para at least alam namin ng tamang timpla for you. Yes, yeah, so, kasi we provide investment advisory services. Mm-hmm. We can, uh, uh, we can analyze the, their portfolio. The research. Oh, kasi UITFs pa lang, there are like 250 UITFs in the market. Hindi, tsaka kung meron na silang existing portfolio, we yeah. can analyze and study them and give recommendations kung paano mo siya mas mm-hmm. mapapaganda based on their financial goals. Yes, hindi right. yung invest lang ng invest na, you know, like headless chicken or bili na lang bili, di ba? Alright. But customize according to you. Alright. So, tumidilim na. <laughs> so, I hope you learned something uh, yes. today. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends. And subscribe. And then please subscribe. subscribe to our channel. Yes. Alright. So, bye-bye and see you next week. Bye-bye.